Good morning, friends. We're going to be talking for the next few weeks about hide and seek, the things we hide from ourselves and God and others, and the way we seek out an answer to those problems. But today I want to talk about a place where God tells us to be hidden. I'm looking at Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 through 7. Read with me if you would. And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. That's part of a larger passage about prayer. But it's very important to me, especially as we talk about the th things we hide and the things we seek. God is saying some things that the world echoes these days. I'm in the search for the April study we're doing through Eastside Health, where we're talking about protecting the vulnerable. I found a site for women who were victims of abuse. And the site at the very front tells the women what to do to keep their work on the site from being discovered, tells them how to clear their cookies, tells them how to hide their history, because they don't want the people they're living with to hurt these women before they're ready to leave. We talk about people who can't keep secrets. But the bigger problem is giving people who don't deserve them your secrets. We talk at our church about 2 a.m. friends. Those are people that you know love you and that you know love God, that have your best interest in Christ in mind. But the person who is, as the Bible says, the friend who sticks closer than a brother is Jesus. And whatever's happening in your life and whatever's going on, and whatever you feel, and whatever you fear, and whatever you rejoice in, God is the one who can hear you. God is the one who understands. As I say, God is the one who understands all your jokes. But God knows what you're facing. God knows your strength. God knows your weakness. And God is able to hear and answer your prayers to listen when no one else will, to offer you support and comfort and strength. And so, you can pray in public, and we need people who teach, or teach others how to pray. And you can pray for groups, and I'll be doing that in a few hours. But you need to say your real prayers to God, not to everyone else. When you're down on your knees praying for a family member, when you're railing against injustice that you can't talk about, when you're talking about a hurt in your heart from years ago, that's when you pray to the Lord. And the God who sees what is done in secret will hear you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.